Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we're gonna keep going Business Central and Power BI. Can do a lot of things about Power BI. I'm just gonna keep going with that. Um, so I'm logged here into Business Central. I was actually doing a session on cash flow uh, forecasts in Navac Focus. If you haven't been to Navac Focus, highly uh, recommend that. Great sessions every year uh, around this time of year. <clears throat> uh, and we were actually going through cash flow forecasts in 2018. But I have mentioned this before in a video. Um, we didn't have in uh, Business Central the cash flow forecast graph. But as you can see right here above my head, it is here now. Uh, and I swear to God, I did not see this before. And I think it was just added by Microsoft. So I guess this is something that you can expect with continuous upgrades. Uh, now we actually have a cash flow forecast uh, uh, chart like we used to have and the finance performance chart so I think this is just new came just out of the oven uh, which is fantastic um, but what I wanted to do is actually uh, create a cash flow forecast uh, not chart but like a graph inside Power BI and I'm just going to show you kind of the raw mechanics of that I did go through this also in Navac uh, so uh, it's going to basically be this line that's growing with uh, the changes in cash flow. So what we want to do is expose, if I go into web services, uh, expose the uh, cash flow entries. And I've already done that. So if you actually go here, it's somewhere way up here. So if I go into right here you can see that CFFE is cash flow forecast entries now I've done videos on cash flow and basically the cash flow forecast um, <clears throat> you go into a worksheet you suggest the worksheet and you post that and out of that you get cash flow forecast entries which are basically the transactions behind the forecast and I want to grab these transactions and bring them into uh, Power BI so because what I want to do is then model that. Um, and so I've enabled this. And inside Power BI, I just went in to get data, uh, picked the Business Central as the source, uh, selected the uh, CFFE, and then it came here. So if, you, if you're unsure how that works, uh, previous videos that I have, I actually go through that. I'm just going to skip going through that because sometimes it takes a little time to actually load up the table. Um, so if I click here on data, now I have the data for the cash flow entries right here. Uh, and what I can do is go in here and create, uh, let's say, a line graph, a line chart. So that's a line chart visualization. And uh, I want to put the amount as the values, like so. And I want to put the cash flow date as the axis. Um, and let me just see. Uh, and I actually have to set this like that. So interesting enough, when I actually drop in the cash flow date here, it came up with this date hierarchy uh, setting. And then everything just gets point put into one point, 2018. And I think it's because the first part of it is a year. And so it just picks the year and everything is happening in 2018. So there is just one point. Now, if you change it by dropping down here the cash flow date, so it's not date hierarchy, um, you actually get by date all the changes that are happening. And that's, of course, better, right? Um, now, this is a little bit broken because it only shows the net change in cash. And normally when we look at cash flow forecast, I don't want to just see the net change. 
I actually want to see it accumulating, uh, you know, or going down, depending on whether the net change is negative or positive. In this case, I think we have all positive changes. Uh, so it's going to be going up. Uh, but right now, it's just showing the exact change, right? So how do we do that? And we can actually create this in Power BI. And I think this is a really, really important uh, part of Power BI. Uh, it's called um, Quick Measure. So if I actually click on Quick Measure or New Quick Measure, um, it shows me this list over here. And I can select the calculation. And here I can create fields that are measures uh, quickly that are often used. So for example, here we have a running total, which is exactly what we need. We need a running total by date of the amount. So, uh, so we can have that incrementing by date. So if I grab that, it asks me, okay, so what, what is the value field that you want? So I want the amount. And then what is, uh, what is it running by? So and that's by date. So if I put that in and hit OK, uh, then we have this amount field here called uh, amount LCY running total, right? And if I add that to my lines, so I want to show that as well, oops, into values, let me put it in the right place. You can see now we have the running total. So it goes, it goes, uh, starts here, which was a start. Then it goes small up. You can see the net change goes a little bit more of zero. Actually here it's below zero, so it goes down, then up again, and then again down and then up. So this is the running total up here, which is more interesting than the net change. Um, so this is actually pretty important. Now you have a running total of the, uh, the cash flow. And what we want to add then on top of that just for fun, is a slicer. Um, so I'm going to just put that in here. Uh, and I actually want to put a date slicer in here. Uh, and I did that before, so this should be nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary for people who have been watching. So I've put cash flow date here. Now I can actually look at particular periods, right? Now it is three days, etc. And this, if I compare this actually to, I go back here into Business Central to this chart over here. Obviously, this has more to it, like these blocks, and we could probably recreate that. But like the dates, I couldn't scroll the dates back and forth. They were a little bit cumbersome. If I actually, I can only put the period length here. I can't say start date, end date, etc. So this is much more static versus uh, this graph here that we can still enhance uh, even more. If you want the columns to be showing, we can probably show that because there are lines and columns like here, line and stack column chart, which we could get into. Um, so this is kind of a quick way of creating um, cash flow forecast in Power BI. Obviously, I can publish that to the dashboard. But it's really nice that Microsoft actually did add this over here. Um, and financial dis, uh, performance, finance performance. Like I said, it wasn't there before. So, hey, uh, things are being published as we go. That's that's exactly what we want. Continuous upgrades, right? Well, anyways, uh, if you got something out of this, thumbs up. Uh, until next time, take care.